Okay, let's say you're going to create a small scene, and that small scene is just going to have a bunch of mushrooms floating around out on the ground. And this is your focus of your object. And you want to paint up this object and then bring it back into Maya to redistribute it and distort it. I'll start out with this very low polygon shape. That's, I'm going to clone it over here, and that's the shape. Apply mesh smooth to the shape and selecting smooth. I'll increase it to two, right there. And this is one piece object. I'll press one key to make sure it doesn't look too blocky. I need it to be even more round. Increase it to three. Edit delete by type history. And I'll export this as the object to be painted in a second, because first you want to go under UV, UV editor, just take a look at the layout. And is this accurately representing this object? You can apply UVs such as around here to the face level. Maybe those UVs should be more cylindrical in shape, while this on top could be spherical in shape. And that's totally possible. Just getting started though, let's just make it this pretty easy. And to do that, could use automatic mapping or maybe cylindrical. Let's try automatic. UV automatic. That seems good enough. Select the object and file export selection. Only at mushroom. And let's paint this up in Blender. Here on Blender, I'm going to tweak this main cube, import the FBX file, file import FBX. Selecting the FBX file, and there it is. To start painting on this object, select the object, go to materials, and underneath materials, click on this little input right here for base color, select image texture. To create a new image texture, click, give it a name, call it mushroom. You can choose the size of the texture map. And unchecking alpha, I don't need alpha, and clicking on OK. So there's the mushroom here. To start painting, with this object selected, go to Texture Paint and zoom in to your mushroom. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to flood it with red. So selecting the flood tool, picking red, and click on it like this. I want to maybe use this red over and over again. To do that, go to color palette, open it up, click on plus to make a new palette, and click on plus to capture this swatch. This way, when I'm in the brush mode, I can always pick up this red in case I need it. Well, let's do some white circles. I know it's a little cliche, but we're just walking through the assignment. Now you have to be careful when you do a dot from here because you could look over here and that might just capture stroke on the object. And you don't want that. I'm going to erase it by picking up my red from the palette and just erase it. So always rotate your object and get a better vantage point for painting on it. If you don't like these earlier ones, just pick up red and erase it. You're not really erasing it, you're just painting over it. Comes out the same. To increase the brush size, press the F key and drag left and right with the mouse. And to increase, decrease opacity, shift F and drag left and right, just in case you want to change it up. Now underneath here, maybe I'll surprise everyone. 
and all um, a little blue underneath here. To increase the brush, and just paint. There's symmetry, and you should try it out. Another video shows you how to use it. But getting started, it's good just to practice getting used to the tool. Not everything has to be symmetrical. I got a little blue down here. I didn't want that. Let me pick up the red and erase it. But that inspires me. Maybe I'll use another color, such as yellow. Let me add that to my swatch. And in here, everything will be yellow. I've been doing a lot of painting, but I haven't been saving this texture map. It's important to make sure you save your texture map as you work. Same is true in Maya. You want to make sure you save your work. So this way you can continue up at a later moment or when you're ready to use it, it's there. Make the brush smaller, F key. Now I have some of these places where I just don't like how it's blending in. If you smear and just drag out some wild lines like this. That's fun. Now, I know this isn't a mushroom you'll find in nature. It's okay, you're building a fantasy land. Let's pretend we're done with this. You could spend lots of time making this your fun little art project. I'm just showing the overall process. When you're done, first make sure under image right here, you click there and you save the texture. It's going to ask you the first time for a location to save it. Pick that location and save. You don't have to re-export this model, but since this started out as a Maya project, all you have to do is connect that texture to this material or a new material. Right-click Assign New Material, and under the color swatch, click the input node, click on File, and pick the file that you just saved. I believe I saved it right here. And in order to see it, press the 6 key. Now you're ready to continue. Now you can start filling out your scene by duplicating this object. You can play with the scale. If you want to distort it in other ways, you can select this object, go under Deform, and, pick, and select Lattice in the Properties box. Start with a very simple lattice, 2 by 2 by 2 this builds a structure around this object. Right click on this bounding box of the lattice and go to lattice points. And this will, in a non-destructive way, allow you to distort your object. This object's trapped in that space. Choose divisions three by three by three. You'll have a more dense lattice that you can experiment with. Here's a way to do quick variations on it. And if you like how this object looks, you will select the object and delete by type history. If you don't, you can select the last and just press delete and it goes back to its initial form. Let me undo that. Just kind of like this one. Just edit delete by type history and now it's permanently like this. Let me do one more lattice. Selecting this object and now I'll go three by three by three. Click apply. Now you, you can see the extra segment that exists. Right click lattice. And you could just move that local lattice point. Create a small variation. Select these last points, and push them down. Maybe something's heavy on top. Something dented in this mushroom. Push this in on the side a little bit. The more lattice points you have, the more you can 
manipulate this object and distort it. So you're starting out with this one object and you're creating lots of variations using lattice points. Lattice points distort the space around the object that the object is within. And that's how this trick is pulled off. Thankfully, by type history, I got my next mushroom. Put it over there. Now, what if you wanted variations on this? Well, one or two things. You either could go to Photoshop and edit this texture and just play with the hue of this texture, or you could jump back to Blender right here and save this file, this image file, image, save as, and give it a new name. Let's call it Mushroom 2. And this mushroom favors green. And that's the texture that's being painted on. Jumping back to Maya, let's say I want this to be duplicated here, and this could be a green mushroom, or maybe this one actually will be the green mushroom here. I'm going to assign new material. For its color, its input file will be the green version. Well, have some fun creating your, your own gardens.